Hi guys, this is Todd with Survival Sherpa. Um, wanted to spend a little time in the shop this morning. Uh, yesterday I made a spoon, but we're going to try and make a spoon today out of this sycamore, which is green. This maple was harvested this summer, and of course it's dry. The pattern of the spoon that she likes is more of a flat spoon, very little indention here, uh, that she wanted. Uh, but I went ahead and made one with a spoon inside of that spatula part. She likes the end uh, kind of flat right here so that when you're stirring a pot um, on the stove, you can reach down and scrape the bottom if you need to get things out of the corner. So that's the design, and we're going to see if we can't make one similar to this with that pattern out of sycamore. The tools you'll need is an axe. You'll need some kind of knife, and the other item will be a uh, crooked knife or a bowl knife, and it is also a mora. Some kind of maul for splitting this with your eyes. This, this pith is what we're aiming for. We want to uh, split it right down the middle through a cross section. Now this, this wood is, is more grainy um, than the maple, but we're going to give it a try. So, <clears throat> with our offhand, we're going to line up our line up our axe directly over the pith to where we're making a cross section of this wood here. So with our mallet, we just want to pound down through and split this piece. So we're probably going to use it. It looks to be more uh, directly split down. Backs. We're going to make several slashes down the down the uh, face of this blank just like I did yesterday and we have basically we're just taking material off of the face to kind of smooth that out and get rid of that area of the pith. So with a hatchet, not a full size axe that would get in my way here, but with, a, with an axe we're just going to begin making some some slashes here. Now with our axe we're going to be chopping in a very controlled manner with vertical motions. We're going to lean our piece of stock onto our wooden anvil here with a ridge here that kind of holds that into place, gives me a little something for the wood to bite on. So from about two-thirds down is where we're going to work first and then we'll flip the wood around and do the other side. We're, we're cutting through the fibers to get a better that will enable us to take this material off We've gotten rid of the pith. We've got a fairly flat surface going here now. So, with that being done, we can now mark our spoon. Now, look at your piece of stock. If you've got a knot like this on one end, we want the we want this spoon part to be on this end. This knot right here we'll, we will take out with, 
with our axe as we begin to shape the spoon. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to lay this on here and just get a rough outline. Now of course you could do this freehand, um, but this particular pattern is what is what the ladies want. So that's what we're going to do. So with a pencil, you just want to give an outline of what you're looking for. We're going to start taking material off here with our axe. Again, about two-thirds down, we're going to start making slash marks down here and begin to remove material. Very controlled motion. Not going to get crazy. Swinging with full swings. close to the line as you'd like, whatever you're comfortable with. Now I'm turning this around, you won't be able to see the line, but we're going to do the same as we did here, a series of slashes to begin removing the material for the handle. See a knot there, which won't affect our handle. We'll take that right off. The grain of the wood is running the length of our the length of our piece of stock. So here are the problem areas that we want to look out for. If we begin to turn this over and want to take this stock off, then we're going to have to make a cut here. We can use a saw. We're going to want to make cuts here to stop the wood grain from splitting through our spoon. So we're going to make a, a cut here and a cut here to the line so that when we are removing stock from here and from here in this direction it's not going to split. If we don't put that stop cut there then it's going to split through our spoon. Now with the stop cut in place we can begin to remove this material here um, so the fibers don't run all the way through and split our spoon with that stop cut. That prevents it from happening. This is hard to do when you're holding such a small piece of stock. So if I set this up here without some buffer between me, I've got the opportunity to miss, axe slip, cut my hand open. So what, what I do is I put a small piece of stock in between the axe and my hand. And of course, again, I'm doing very controlled strokes But even with that, you can, you can uh, have a serious injury if you're not careful. So, I'm just going to put my knee here so I can see my line. This will give me a little bit more leverage. Just to remove some material a little quicker. And if I'm using my knife, thickness of our spoon to be about right here. So we want to remove the material under my finger 
all of this here and kind of round the corners with the axe. Now we'll work on getting this handle brought down. Let's remove material from the corners here. Now here again, we'll be chopping kind of at, a, at an angle here with our end grain. So we're actually slicing through the actual fibers instead of running with them and splitting them. So we're going to do that on both corners to round those up. Okay. So I'm going to round off these corners. Here, I'm going to, well, I've got my knife, I'm go ahead and round over this edge here. Using my thumb, my off thumb, as a lever on the back of my knife, you're just going to twist that around and just take off control pieces. Very powerful stroke with a knife. chamfer the outside edge of this, uh, the face of the spoon. So pay attention to the grain. If I start here trying to chamfer, it's going to dig into my spoon. So I'm going to start from the top of the grain and work my way down here with small controlled strokes. Now we want to take our crooked knife, or our spoon bill knife here, and we're going to uh, begin to hollow out some of this ladle. We want to cut across the grain here to keep until we get a bowl, uh, a bevel in, in this uh, ladle. And we're just going to push, keeping fingers out of the way, we're going to push this and begin to get my concave ladle going. This is controlled motion. All I'm doing basically is off of my, with a lever and a fulcrum, I'm just basically twisting this spoon in my hand. I mean this spoon knife in my hand to slowly take off layers going across the grain here. Here um, is the maple spoon I carved yesterday. It hasn't been sanded. I'm not sure I'm going to. I think I'm going to leave the, the knife marks in it. Um, this one, Sycamore, sanded it down just now, and I think it turned out okay. This spoon here, being green wood, we're going to let it dry and then treat it as well with some... Uh, I'll probably go with the uh, either, either um, tallow or... Fixing wax. So guys, I, I appreciate you watching. Hope you uh, hope you got found some value out of this. Um, and if you did, appreciate your subscription to our channel. And also, you can check out other information on the things that we're doing. Um, 
and that's over at uh, www.thesurvivalsherpa.com. Again, keep doing the stuff self-reliance. See you on the next one.